Okay, so in today's math lesson, we are continuing our uh, exploration of volume, and we're using a lot of cubes, and we used some scissors today, and we cut out some uh, some nets of, of solids, and uh, what they had us do here was to build some things and then to talk about and uh, estimate the number of uh, cubic centimeters which fit in each of the solids. So on paper, it's a little more difficult because you're taking something that's three-dimensional and you're uh, putting it on paper, which is a two-dimensional shape. So uh, here we go. So in the first one, uh, for problem number 2A, they want us to uh, predict the number of cubes that would fit or the number of cubes that, cubes that would make up this particular solid. Now, again, it's not a solid, obviously. It's on a two-dimensional form. So uh, we have to use our imagination. But what I tell the kids is you have to kind of imagine yourself or imagine what isn't there. And in this case, we have one cube that's right here. And we'll notice that there's one in the back. So this makes up two cubes. Well, this is two, and this set should be another two. And then this set should be another two, which gives us six total. Okay. Uh, the reason why, you could see, use like slices. I like to say slices of bread. Our first slice of bread has two. And yet there are three slices. Three sets of two gives me six. Okay. That's kind of how it works. Uh, looking at something that's a little more complex. Here. We can do the same thing. We do slices of bread if you want. And we'll notice I have one, two, three, four cubes, cubic centimeters in this slice of bread. And we have three slices total. So if I have four for here and I have three slices, that gives me a total of 12. Now, there is another way of looking at it. We can check out the base or the ceiling and find out just how tall this is. And I find that the more complex these are, the, that's your better approach. So let me put that four back. Down here on the bottom, my base or my floor plan here contains two. Uh, there's another two in here. There's another two in here. So two, four, six on the bottom. And we have two levels of that. So if I have six times two, there's my 12 once again. OK? And on the bottom section here, this guy, now I have two. I have another two here, another two here, another two here for my base. So my base, or my, my floor here, has two, four, six, eight, which means all of these guys have eight. All right, every level has eight, which gives me eight times four, which is 32. Now, don't forget your units. So if we went in here, we have 32, and always stressing the cubic units here. Okay, in here, or cubic centimeters, actually, for this. Cubic centimeters, and we're in pretty good shape. Okay. Last problem is kind of complex, but I really like it because you get to use your imagination a little bit and you have some flexibility. They're telling you that this box holds 24 one centimeter cubes. There we go. 24 such cubes. They want you to draw, and this is called a, um, a net, by the way. Okay. Draw your own net uh, to create another solid that could hold just as many. Now, what we're talking about here is if I was to cut this out with uh, paper and scissor, and fold up the edges by the edges. These guys would fold up, these guys would fold up, and so on to build a container. And then I would fill them with the cubes. So they're telling me uh, 24 cubes fit. And that makes sense because, well, if this is my floor right in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I have 12 cubes that would fit on the bottom. And if this was folded up, these sides were folded up, I would notice that I have two levels of that which means I would have a, a level 12 and a level 12. I add them up and I get my 24. Now everything is dependent on that floor plan. Now I have a 3 times 4 here. I have four sets of 3, which gives me my 12. But there are other ways to get 12. What about a 4, oh, I'm sorry, a 2 sets of 6? 2, 3, 4, 5. How about 2 sets of 6 right there? And as a floor plan, if I have two sets of six, which gives me 12, and I want two levels of that. Let me change color so you can see what's going on here. Two levels. So I still have my 12 down on the floor. Even though it's a different configuration, I can now create my sides. Now, I'm sorry this is a bit sloppy here. I'm not using a ruler. And there you have it. So if I folded uh, those sides and I created a container, I could then hold 24. I would have, once again, I would have two sets of 12. 
which would give me my 24. Different configuration because this has three sets of four and this has two sets of six. Okay. And that's just one way to do it. There are others. Okay. Well, that's the deal. All right, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.